Thank you so much to Spotify for sponsoring today's video. Hi lovies, welcome or welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you clicked on today's video. We are going to be doing a cozy little reading vlog together today. I'm super excited. It's spooky season. It's cozy season. It's super chilly outside. So I feel like it's the perfect time to really get into a good cozy read. We're also one week out until Halloween, which is crazy to say because I feel like October really flew by and I don't want to talk about it because it's my favorite month and it's almost over. I'm super excited. I love Halloween. I love spooky season so I thought for today's vlog it'd be really fun to jump in to a cozy little murder mystery. I don't read a lot of mystery books or thriller books. It's a genre that I definitely shy away from but I recently found a really cool cozy murder mystery by Evie Hunter that I really want to try out and I thought it'd be really fun to try it out together. It's called Deadly Affair. I'm really excited because I've heard a lot of good things about Evie Hunter as an author but this is also a part of a mystery series. I'm pretty sure it's the Hopgood Hall mystery mystery series and people literally rave about these books so I'm really excited to try this one out. Our main character in the book is Alexi Ellis and she basically has solved like four murders already in Hopgood Hall and she's kind of getting the reputation that she may be bad luck. People are kind of like mmm why are murders always happening where this girl is? Holly Pearson is a local gossiper and she arrives at Hopgood Hall and Alexi thinks that Polly's there to get her out of there because she doesn't like her. She's made it very clear that she also thinks she's bad luck but it turns out that Polly's partner turned up dead and Polly is the main suspect in the case and now she is looking for help to clear her name. So I feel like since it's leaning towards cozier vibes, I'll probably enjoy it a lot more. Alexi also has a partner named Jen and she has a cat named Cosmo so I feel like it's gonna be a lot of fun. I don't have a physical copy so I'm actually gonna be listening to the audiobook on Spotify which is the kind sponsor of today's video. I'm so excited to be partnering with them because you guys know I'm a big audiobook girly. I love listening to audiobooks simply because I can do so many other things while listening to them. I thought it'd be really fun to listen to an audiobook for our cozy vlog because I thought to get us in the spirit, the Halloween spirit, it'd be really fun if we did some pumpkin painting, maybe some fall baking, some cozy gaming, all the fun stuff that comes with spooky season. So Spotify is really coming in clutch for this video with their audiobooks. If you didn't know, Spotify is like your one-stop shop for everything. I'm talking music, podcasts, and now audiobooks, which is so exciting because it's literally everything I love in one place. With Spotify audiobooks and premium, you can access over 250,000 titles as a master account holder. The thing I love most about audiobooks though is that you can listen to a good book while also doing other other things. Running errands, doing chores, or maybe you're just lounging around the house and you want to listen to a good book. I know I do that. I also think audiobooks are great though for people who live really fast and busy lives. Maybe you don't always have time to sit down with a physical book and read for hours on end and that's why audiobooks are perfect because you can do everything you have to get done while listening to a good book. I've been a premium member with Spotify for years and I could not recommend it enough. I think it's an incredible deal and you also get access to a wide range of music, podcasts, and now for all the book lovers out there, audiobooks. You can use the link in my description to check out audiobooks on Spotify. I could not recommend it enough. And without further ado, let's hop in to our cozy little reading vlog.
Okay, lovies, we are doing our first little check-in of our cozy reading vlog. I didn't make it too far. I'm only on chapter eight of A Deadly Affair by Evie Hunter. There's 21 chapters in total, so actually I did kind of make a little bit of a dent in it so far. I have to say, personally, if you're like me, if you read a ton of romance and you dabble with romanticy and you don't read mystery thrillers, like, ever, this isn't half bad, I'm not gonna lie. I actually am pretty into the story right now and into the investigation. I feel like the way that the story starts out is perfect for me because I like books that jump right into it. I really don't like books that take a super long time to kind of set up, and with this one, you immediately jump into it. It literally starts out with Alexei and Jack kind of talking about how they're kind of over solving mysteries you know they want to break they want to focus on each other which I didn't know we were gonna get a little romance in here I'm actually loving the romance aspect it's not super crazy lovey-dovey but it's still a really cute romance and I'm really liking the dynamic between Alexi and Jack anyways they're basically talking about how they want to take a break they don't really want to do the whole mystery solving anymore and right as they're talking about it Miss Polly barges in crying saying that her lover he's dead somehow we don't know but he's dead and she is the number one suspect on the case and she is basically begging for their help even though in the past she has been absolutely awful to alexi and has even tried to accuse her of horrible things very spicy right off the start i have to say this is book five in the series and you can read it as a standalone but part of me is kind of wishing that i read the first four books in the series because i think if you do you just have a better understanding of all the characters the side characters and you get more of a backstory on them but i don't really know all the big details of it because i didn't read the first four books of the series so that is a little bit of a downside again you can read it as a standalone but i do think it'd be just more enjoyable and fun if you read the first four books in the series before jumping in to book five like i am i have to say the cover is what really got me and kind of drew me into it i love the cover of this title but anyways polly is like begging for their help and they are great people alexi and jack because they basically offer her help even though she's been totally awful to them in the past so that's how the story starts out and we immediately jump into it which i really like we're trying to figure out what happened we're talking to all these different people all these different suspects it's honestly a really interesting mystery but what i like the most about it is that it's not like a super dark or like intense mystery that's the thing i don't really like when it comes to mystery thrillers i don't really like the dark intense vibes that comes with them i like to read very cozy type of books there's a lot of seriousness to it but there's also like a tad of humor in it which i think is what brings in the cozier vibes cosmo the cat I feel like the cat's carrying the whole story on his shoulders right now. In all seriousness though, I'm genuinely enjoying it so far. Again, for me personally, as someone who doesn't really read mystery thrillers, I'm honestly not minding this one. And it really is just giving off like those cozy, warm fall vibes. So we are going to keep going. I'm on chapter eight. Things are kind of heating up right now. We're talking to a ton of different people trying to just piece together this really interesting murder mystery. I think what we're going to do next while we listen is paint pumpkins. We haven't done any pumpkin carving or pumpkin painting yet which is crazy because it's like one of my favorite fall activities so we are gonna paint some pumpkins probably do some cozy gaming
Okay guys, it's a little bit later. Chris and I spent way too long painting pumpkins. Probably at least like three hours we were painting pumpkins and it's mainly because we put something on TV and then we just got really distracted and kind of just sat there for like an hour and a half watching TV instead of painting the pumpkins. But it was still fun. The pumpkins turned out adorable. Chris painted Spider-Man and it was absolutely adorable, hilarious process, but it turned out really good in the end. I did make a pretty big dent in A Deadly Affair. We made it to chapter 14. Things are getting crazy in this book, okay? Not what I expected at all going into it I think I thought it was gonna be very different from what it actually is but in a good way because I'm actually really enjoying the whole story the whole mystery I do have a few ideas a few things theories on who did what. But at the same time, I've seen other people say that it's not who you think it is in the end and it's actually like the complete opposite. So I feel like I'm very conflicted on who committed the murder. But overall, I've actually been really enjoying it. I feel like it definitely gets cozier the more you get into it, but there's also so many like topics that are covered in this book specifically that I wouldn't typically associate with a cozy type of read, if that makes any sense. I feel like there's definitely a few sensitive topics covered in this story. The way that the author went about writing them, I feel like they did a really good job at covering those topics, but at the same time keeping the coziness to the mystery. I've really been enjoying the whole story so far as well. I think it's super fast paced and easy to keep up with, especially with it being the fifth book in the series. I'm not lost at all. Again, I do think if you read the books in the series in order, you just will have a better experience. It will be more fun and enjoyable, but not reading the books and just reading this one, I'm personally really really liking it and for someone who doesn't really like mystery thrillers I feel like it's okay. With that being said though it's been a very long night of doing fallish activities. We did some baking, we did some pumpkin painting, we did two reading sprints in this video. You guys keep telling me how you love the reading sprints. That makes me so happy because I feel like it's so fun to actually sit down and read but know that you guys are kind of reading with me. I don't know if it actually makes sense or not, but it makes me so happy and it makes reading like more fun in my opinion. So I'm happy you guys are loving the little mini reading sprints I've been incorporating into the videos. With all that being said though, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed the fallish activities we did and I hope you guys have a super fun Halloween end of October. I can't believe it's the end of October. What the heck? But anyways, I love you guys so so much and I'll see you in the next one.